So every time there is the beginning of the year, we have this New Year resolutions, goal setting, and just the general awakening to urgency in life. But the problem is that that urgency fizzles out as soon as we get back to our normal routines. We get back to our status quo. So it becomes the same old, same old. And that's why I've been discussing in this series the importance of timelines and tracking systems in our pursuits of purpose. It is critical. But in this series, there is a mini-series in it where I was talking about, and I'm finishing today, the mini-series within the series. Why is it that people find it difficult to come up with timelines, to come up with due dates, to come up with tracking systems for the goals that they have set for themselves. And I want us to see one more reason as to why that is the case. And then maybe from tomorrow, we start looking at other things within this series concerning the timeframes, concerning the timelines, due dates, and tracking systems. Why are they important? As of now, stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Well, let's face it. There is the difference between knowing what to do and getting the right motivation to do it. Those are two major things. That's why in this day and in this age of the internet and the super highway of information where it's easy to get information for free, for free, and and from all the angles that you can think of, in microseconds, And yet, we find that people do not implement or do not have the right motivation, the right combination of motivation and inspiration to implement the new information that has come into their lives. Years ago, it will take you quite a bit of money to get a book shipped from whatever it is to you. Today, in microseconds, go to pdfdrive.net Google for any book that you want. Even if you're buying or purchasing books, go to Amazon Kindle or Amazon Audible. Just at a moment's notice, as long as you have the money, you get the book. But even if you did not have the money, you can Google. There's a time I was in a group of people and I was telling them how I wanted, I desire to read a particular book called The Secret Code of Success. I've forgotten the author. And uh, someone in that particular group Googled. And they said, oh, here it is. They downloaded it. It's the book I'd wanted to read and I didn't have money to buy for ages. So there is the idea of having information, but then there's the idea of implementing the information. That's why I'm asking this question. Why is it that people fail? We know for sure that we need to have due dates and we need to have tracking systems for our goals. But why do we fail to do that? Why is it that we don't get to set those goals? Why is it that we don't get to have the tracking systems in place? The first reason which we discussed in the previous episodes is that it's scary. It's a scary thing. The second reason is that there is fear in us. So the scary part is that 
it's in the vicinity of your life that setting a goal is rosy it's cute it's beautiful but hunking down and making sure that it's going to be decided by a particular date brought to pass by a particular date is scary puts responsibility on your shoulders and your brain doesn't want you to be stressed so you postpone and we're going to talk about that the second reason is that you are afraid why are you afraid of putting due dates and tracking systems because you know for sure your routine is going to be messed up your priorities are going to be shifted topsy turvy your life as you knew it is going to be invaded and you need to install something new which is an uncomfortable thing again so you are afraid of losing your comfort the third reason is the illusion of time which is linked to the other two the illusion of time works in such a way that you think you have time all of us have been captured by that illusion of time when you are young and supple you think you have all the time that's why you're going to say no to every genuine man who wants to get married to you and before you know it you've hit a particular age now there are younger women more desirable than yourself okay i don't know why i've say that it looks like i'm going to be attacked but i'm talking about the illusion of time you think you have 200 years to be alive i will do this when this happens and so on i have time you know i'm young you keep saying you're young and before you know it you wake up and they're saying old man have you ever had a, a guy a, a small kid referring to you as an old man and the other day you are you know excited about your young age how the tables have shifted the illusion of time that's why people don't have the setting of due dates and tracking systems for their goals but as you like you would imagine the last reason maybe there are very many other reasons as to why people don't have due dates and uh, they don't have time frames they don't have tracking systems for their goals and their resolutions is simply this laziness laziness see it goes without saying that setting deadlines on your goals and pursuits is not something that you do while you're sleepwalking i know do you know how many people have postponed they have these beautiful goals that are actually attainable but they have postponed setting due dates on them setting tracking systems on them why it is laborious it involves work let me tell you people normally say that you know hard work is the work that involves doing uh, manual labor and so on and that for we as a human race we've invented as many machines as possible that have basically done away with manual labor but then the work really the work itself is in the mind thinking imagining visualizing strategizing planning putting things into consideration that's where the work is thinking is such an unfamiliar territory that people get lost into it every now and then and therefore laziness creeps in especially when you're supposed to put a due date on your goal when you're supposed to put tracking systems on your goal because you don't do this in a minute you've got to put very many things into consideration even as you're doing this when you're putting a tracking system on your goal or maybe goals you've got to put very many things into consideration you've got to be alive you've got to be conscious you've got to be in the moment and one of the rarest things that you saw today is people being in the moment people setting aside some time to engage the mind engage their brains engage their thoughts laziness creeps in so setting deadlines on your goals and pursuits is not something that you will do while sleepwalking it's 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 a laborious thing in that you need to consider several things you need to consider the intermediate activities that you're going to do the actions that you're going to put into place they are due they are respective due dates in other words it's just not a one due date for your goal 
there are other due dates that you're supposed to put into consideration because you're not going to rise up and just slap a, a number on your goal you've got to think it through even though you are not god and you do not know what tomorrow holds you are a human being and you can analyze you can synthesize information in other words a deadline is not just a deadline for a deadline's sake it is an informed deadline and therefore if you are lazy you will not get this done believe me you you not get this done so how do you overcome the laziness well i don't know to be honest with you it varies from one person to another but i'll give you some few pointers here number 1 how desperate are you for a change let me tell you something if you are desperate enough like a man whose head is held in the water they are desperate for their next breath right it will compel them to do something so how desperate are you for a new thing to happen in your life i i think that's the main reason as to why we do this because if you are not desperate enough the guy who is having his bills paid you know his car washed by somebody else he has drivers and so on he doesn't want to change to be honest with you he doesn't want to change he's not desperate enough but the person who is walking in the streets and he's seeing people eating in restaurants and so on and he's hungry the pangs of hunger are consuming him that's a, a desperate person and therefore they are not prone to be as lazy as someone else it's it it's like pressure compels us to do something something and therefore if you don't get the external pressure to rise you up from your laziness get the internal pressure in other words go inside of yourself if there's such a thing and pressurize yourself put yourself into consideration and force yourself to achieve something for a particular reason find a reason find a why the reason why you want to do this goal the reason why you've got to do it find a reason and if there is no reason enough then remove this goal move on to something that will give you a reason to set a due date for it well tomorrow we will talk about the importance of these due dates but until then bye bye thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring